Uh, this music, uh. <laughs> uh, Alright, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with. Peace and Mike, the Lieutenant Druk here at your service. And yeah, we'll be we'll be going for Nefarious's good ending this time, and then likely, well, it, I very much doubt it'll take two hours to do that. So the remaining time, if it is more than an hour, we'll fill up with another game, a Potheon. But for now, for for now, the game needs to recognize my controller again, even though it did earlier on. That needs to say, say this is. One of the stories that got stuck in my head lately is Glory Hammer. I just told you the damn title. Uh, Keeper of the Celestial Flame, Abatafi something. And in one of the lyrics, they actually say, It's a sorcerer, nefarious. His eyes burn like fire. And yeah, when they, they said nefarious, they, this is the game I could only think of them. Yeah. Also, let me actually check if we can go. No, we cannot go that way. But yeah, last week we got the bad ending with this, apparently because we missed one side quest. And let's see, it's it. Okay, that allows us to I go there straight that. away instead of going through all of that again. <clears throat> yeah. Wait, and, and I don't remember why I thought it was a third ending. Oh. Or well, when you unlock the path to the good ending, you get to choose between the good or bad. Okay. So, but, can that make sense? Uh, maybe, but yeah, to get access to the last uh, of the side quests, we need to go back here. Uh, ta -ta, we read this before. I was kind of surprised to see our dungeon actually have a prisoner in it for once. Ta -ta, May Apple of all princesses. Is she not your best friend? Not counting you? I'm not your friend, I'm your secretary. Yeah, let's get on with this. Yeah, last prince on our agenda, and we can wrap up business. Experimental Princess Faraday is kept in a cage. It seems that even royalty can out can't outrun the glorious march of consumerism. The Tanashis are being composed of all the intangible concepts to describe the perfect princess. A grotesque mockery of science, religion, and sentient life everywhere. <laughs> I adore it. Uh, so yeah, yeah, let's just get a move on. To unlock fair to unlock Meridays not not Meridays, May Apples. How the hell did I get to Meriday? To unlock May Apple side quests, we we first yeah, we need to get to Faraday. And it's in the escape sequence or technically kidnapping sequence. We need to find an area there. Yeah, and apparently it was an area you would normally just jump over out of pure instinct. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I will call it a bit bullshit on that. Also, get, let me get rid of this fucker. And, yeah. We miss this as well here. I'm no scientist, but being rich as perks, I guess. I've always been able to see the big picture. I can see where this world is headed. Death, pain, sorrow. Okay, now I list much. Okay. Yeah, but can you blame him? Mm -hmm. But is he? Yeah. You see, right about the one part that uh, even today, it seems to be going downhill. Yeah, and well, death is a certain as taxes. Yeah. So, in regard to this secret thing, I'm gonna be sure to expect it considering what happened during the last stream. <laughs> uh, you dive into water with some treasure. <laughs> yeah, just getting jump scared by <laughs> the freaking lizard. <laughs> yep, screw it, I'll just take it. He doesn't damage. mean me this time. <laughs> so, have, have the jump scared you? Hmm? Yeah, I was surprised, but I wasn't really jump scared by it. Yeah, the, the, I mean, had I ever jump scared you? Mm, not really, I think. Maybe once or something. 
Yeah, I'm trying to remember that one. Sure, if I ever have. <laughs> and doubtfully intentionally. Yeah. Okay. Have you met hmm. in real life? Then there would be some good odds I would accidentally jump <laughs> scare you due to how quiet I am when I'm walk. Okay. Anyways, whilst we're going back. Power. Yeah. Uh, whilst we're heading back to Faraday. Uh, I did a bit of looking. Apparently, Starblade hasn't made any games, or released any games, on Steam at least, since this game. And this came out in 2017. There has been a webcomic that continues the story after the game. But of course, I haven't looked at that to avoid potential spoilers. Probably going to die at least once here. Because these things are. They're annoyingly dodgy. Okay. And of course, right into the freaking acid again. Okay. Deal with you. The hitboxes. Is it just me or do you the hitboxes seem a little bit off at times? Sometimes. Like with the grenades, it's a lot less obvious because they explode when they get close or make as good as impact. But I, the bullets have a much smaller hitbox. <laughs> Yo, come on. Yeah, you know what? There and there. It's going to rush. Going to rush and lose my cash again. Yeah, I, I do not like this part. Yeah, I don't either. The problem is why I re never became a real, yeah. quote unquote, gamer during when we had a Nintendo 8 bits. You got tried. First thing was you you didn't really you're not even really able to save on that. Like you could save your name, but that's it. Yeah, you just need to use passwords. And and on that console, these kinds of levels were almost extremely common. Uh, the things around the grenades make it look like you have a lot more area to work with with the jumps as well. Uh. It's harder than it looks. And the acid is just an added unnecessary thing. Or actually, either you should remove the acid or remove the mobs. Yeah, since we failed at least two jumps here because of getting hit by their attacks, which stuns us in the air a bit. Or at least costs us some momentum. At least we're past that now. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go looking for any of the other things, like the crowns and such. Like, we know there's one in this room, but I'm just going to leave it be, because we're only here, really, for the good ending. There it is. Okay, I should... <laughs> I should really not try to jump onto the moons to get progress because I keep slipping off each and every time. And... <clears throat> right, something I also found out by looking around a bit is that uh, Throw here actually does appear in another game. A game called Indie Pogo. Which is a sort of Smash Bros fighting game, only... Every character is always jumping. <laughs> so you either have to... Well, so, so you have to, well, figure out how to get around with that by well, dodging the enemy's attacks and trying to get your own in. And, yeah, either knock your enemies out of the playing field or drain their HP to the point that you're the only one left. Have you heard Indie Pogo mentioned, but never seen it? Yeah, apparently it has a, it has characters from a bunch of indie games. 
like say escape uh, not uh, escape the gun no not enter the gungeon and there she is someone's come to rescue me <laughs> kidnap a hero in purple armor <laughs> villain I like that Crow talks to her like she's like five years old. Probably she is more like five months at most. To escort me, oh, yeah, to, escort me to the heroic headquarters. <laughs> there he is, Lair. <laughs> Please get me out of here. Oh yeah, one more thing. <laughs> Let's cause as much chaos as we can on the way out. <laughs> okay, get that open. And yeah, now we have infinite ammo again. Oh. <laughs> now there is should be a pit somewhere around here to jump down into. Wait. Uh. A pit? Yep. Okay, and this is looking a lot more dilapidated already. What do we do with the others? They are energy, given solid mass. They seem happy, but they look... wrong. Should we fix them? I don't know what the ethical thing to do here is. Oh, Let's certainly so taking a turn. Not robots, but... Yeah. It's better to exist than to never exist, right? They aren't in pain. I've redirected a lot of resources towards fixing this problem. It's my responsibility. I have to fix it. I have to make it right. The music suddenly changed uh, completely as well. Just the odd actually I just called them a actual elemental. Yeah, sort of. I visit them often. Except I couldn't a week ago. They got very angry about that. I tried to explain it wasn't my fault. I was being, <laughs> I was being kidnapped that week. Uh, wait, who? Uh oh. Uh, Becky was kind enough to, re to schedule our next kidnapping in advance. And the Okay, and the pop-up there were said implicated. This will be my last entry for a while. Yours truly, Princess Cherry Mayapple. And log. Mayapple created at Ad Adaptco? And she knew about you? Nice lady, but she said we couldn't leave. Well, someone has some explaining to do. Wait, wait. Dick explains why we need to find this to unlock her uh, side quest. Oh, what's over here? Maybe we should turn back. This is... It's... Uh, princess? We should go. I can't believe this. <laughs> this is awesome, I always wanted sisters. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Leave the little loon to think of something else. I went from having no family to a big family and being rescued. <laughs> Talk about a lucky break. What a glorious day to be alive. <laughs> Let's break them out, please. Not too sure if that might be a good idea or not. <laughs> hey, my name is Juan. And nice to meet you. Hey, is there? I'm called Psu. Glad to be out of tube. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I utilize the moniker as free in order to distinguish myself from my sisters and bear <laughs> us for days. <laughs> I am ever so great to be free from the glass enclosure. Okay, that was actually well spoken. We're a family. But 
Didn't um, they talk? Didn't the May logs mention that there was four? Where is but number I five? Four in total now. Now that there were four before Barrow was made. Yeah, and bloody hell. They look broader. Unwell. It's a mirror to. Wait, wait what? Yep. And this song Academia has been added to your jukebox. As I understand it, Dr. Kako plays the theremin. Okay. I think it's a rather under uh, underrated instrument myself. And back to the wacky uh, escape. Yeah, they, they, everything here looks cartoony, but they take it a bit further to the point that it doesn't fit anymore, I think. Yeah. I hope we got them all. I really hope so, otherwise... Uh, also... Dumb? Also just name the, the, wait, 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 the wait, achievement, wait, 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 wait. Paris for let's days. Let's double check. Let's double check over there. Hmm? Yeah, Wait, check just make sure we haven't missed a tube. Now there were only three tubes. Or maybe I'm misremembering from the logs. Probably should have read I them all to make like, double sure. Uh, I just meant like there was, like, there was a wall in that direction to tell you there was nothing else there. Hmm. Now, we can drop down again to make sure. Oh, I thought we were... I thought we wanted it uh, here. Hmm. Yeah, let's double check to be mm -hmm. sure, otherwise. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we can. Okay, we pass over the same trigger to for this. Uh, so, what is with the specimen containment thing? That's a different area. Mm -hmm. Alright. I, I guess they didn't really speak. plan for people to uh, come back down again. Also, now that I think about it again, um, all the other death uh, pits are filled with acids, and the one over here is not. So that would probably be a good hint for people that there actually is something down here, as annoying as it can be to have... Uh, well, things hidden in pits. It, it, it's at least better than ho having to guess which of the 50 or so uh, bottomless pits you otherwise have to jump down for the extras. Yes. Yeah, especially in older games from the 8 bit and the 60 bit era and such. Yeah. This was, well, good luck to knowing which one's which. Like, they probably have some hints somewhere, but even then, uh, yeah. No. The only hints often... you will get are from uh, Nintendo Powers. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was running too far ahead without actually getting rid of the fucking stragglers. Uh, there are some things I miss about board games, but also a lot of things I feel like finally we don't have that going on anymore. Like, yeah, they cannot be able to afford to add hints and clues and such in games nowadays without having to buy a damn magazine and oh, it's there. Oh, come on, the super thing is attacking from off screen. Don't you have, you, you, some people don't you really need to call the company behind the game and ask. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, get rid of oh, you lots. I hope I'm not too loud, but I just realize I'm losing my voice a little bit much. Uh, you're not on my end, at least. And in the VOD, I can... Well, in the, for the VOD, I can edit you down if it needs to be the case. I'll switch... Okay. 
I do yeah. get I that we need to be, or we would be more, things are more balanced towards using the grenades, which do more damage per second if, at, well, since, <laughs> than the machine gun. Yeah, you, you have a bit of reach in how you can fire. But it's definitely not very effective when you're doing the running gun. Yeah. I may actually just switch back to the grenades. Yeah, well, it's not horrible, just it's more good when you spend skill and fire like uh, this and uh, you don't have too many enemies. Then you can just take them away down from afar. Yeah. Normally, most of your enemies will be bloody them close to you. Okay, checkpoints. So that's progress. Okay. Going to ignore that crown. <laughs> oh, stragglers. Oh. Uh, yeah, May Apple again. And up May Apple, Mac again. Blah blah blah, I don't care about a cop. <laughs> yep, yep. I miss those. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, back into this bucket of a thing. <laughs> okay, and we know how uh, this will go. Also, something I oh, something I just realized. That's broken glass in its mouth. It's not supposed to look like that. Okay. This again. I still have no idea what this boss fight is a reference to, though. My thing is to the world, uh, villains and giant robots. Now that in general, but I th I think the ideas for most of these have been taken from sp specific games. The, the, the way it flew up to the elevator made me think of uh, Evangelion and it being purple, but that's it. Yeah, but it's purple because it's crows. <laughs> yeah. Not very strong uh, comparisons. Uh, I am kinda unsure. There we go, one more. You'd think he'd Wait, be I smart enough I... to figure out to stop doing this. I think I know what it's reference to. <laughs> Bosses in those space games where you play an airplane and shoot the spaceship. But are you looking from in the side instead of from uh, above? Mm, still too general, I think. But yeah, yeah. we completed this now. Uh, yeah, uh, they... It was a, maybe a less obvious uh, reference. Okay, Mayapple, you've got something to talk about. You might want to know, I found your little experiments. And here you've been giving me a hard time about being a villain. All the while you were running unethical experiments behind everyone's back. <laughs> I have to say, I'm super impressed. <laughs> you aren't the only one willing to do anything to achieve victory. But what Adaptco became wasn't anything like I wanted it to be. Dr. Cackle lied to me. He took it too far. Through. If you help me put him out of commission, I'll consider a squared. <laughs> Square, huh? No more pouting at me? <laughs> Even Stevens. If we have time. Okay, secret stage added. Dr. Cackle's lab. And... 
right there. Okay. Oh, we know where to go. So let's go there. <laughs> I am curious about how things will be different in the good ending. <clears throat> I wonder if we put new dialogue with others. Uh, let's give that a check, yeah. I'm presuming but I know not. We have dialogue. Let's see. I can feel the tension in the air. Something chills up my spine. How is this all going to resolve? I can't wait. Hmm. Oh, we have you that already. Should be getting, getting a little crowded lately. I might have to put in it for an addition. Hmm. Not too sure if these are new or not. I'm beginning to miss my homelands. I do hope this is all sorted out soon. Yeah, I think I think some of this is new. But now he has four chasing after him. Oh God! When is our next adventure going to happen? <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> our time together is coming to an end. And for the moment, I'm grateful for the distraction you've caused, the world. If Tepper is over here, she isn't worrying on my home turf. Of course. Let's see. Any lost upgrades that we can grab? Let's see. Gyrock missile. Let's try that. Okay. And then I, ah, then I managed to unequip it. Okay. Actually, anything to talk about with you? Apologies for the last outburst, boss. I believe there is a short circuit in my sarcasm chip. It's been stuck on 11 all day. <laughs> it's great, you're the best inventor ever. <laughs> Did you change it up? <laughs> this must be a record. You were never this interested in talking to me. I am a bit overdue for a new chassis. This one has seen better days. We've never quite had time to do a proper repair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, not sure if we pointed this out before, but there is a, a there is a main of the month, and then there's worst main of the month. <sighs> Wait, what? <laughs> yep. All right. Dr. Cackle's lab. Here we go. Yep, and we're bringing me <laughs> Apple along. All right, if we take down this Cackle guy, you will stop howling. This won't completely make up for what I did, but... It's a good first step. Thanks, Crow. <laughs> the Syndicate of Malice is not going to be happy. I've already found the appropriate loopholes to skirt syndicate bylaws. Dr. Kanko's plot is similar enough to warrant a rival villain exception. <laughs> Thank you so much, B. Just for the record, I'm doing this for me, not because we're friends. <laughs> uh, just outright calling her friends. <laughs> Dude. Okay, back to this music immediately. Alright. So, okay, so she wanted to help the world, but the one she hired betrayed yeah. her. Oh, hello that explains why she disliked Adapt mm -hmm. so much. Another bad guy, freeze. Stand down, men, he's working for us for once. <laughs> More like I'm making all of you my temporary minions. <laughs> Does it make you angry? Doesn't that just make your blood boil? Let's stay focused on the task at hand. What's the situation? Dr. Cankel is holed up in his office with overwhelming security measures. Thanks to Professor Snicker, we managed to regain control of the Tattlebots. 
But the Reapers are still gunning for us. We'll use the, tel uh, the, the tunnel bots to ferry us across. You boneheads, boneheads just keep his cronies off our butts. <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable with this arrangement. <laughs> well, better get really used like to it. Are you sure? Just yeah. talk to them while being turned away from them. Yeah. Don't hurt the bots. We have to use them to... Don't hurt the bots. Don't blow up the cars. You're making a lot of demands of me today. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately into death. Okay, so these, <laughs> these things are called tattles, huh? But, uh, I guess it's called tattling along? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wait, I just read. What the heck are the Reapers? I'm guessing those are going to be the flying ones. Or something we've not seen before. Another yeah. Dr. Snicker. Yep. <laughs> the inventor of the Snickers. And maybe the Sneakers. <laughs> you know the Sneaker commercial where they say, You eat you when you're hungry, eat the Snicker. Yeah. Those were most of the times funny, but the new one is... It's just a repeated joke, same joke. Yeah. Again, but worse. Yeah. But in a more <laughs> sexual tone. Yeah. I'm freaking out here, let me out. <laughs> I can actually talk? Okay. I think they actually took advantage of it freeing out like that. Yeah. To make a joke. <laughs> Best of luck, princess. And yeah, these must be the Reapers. <laughs> and these deal with them a lot easier. Okay, this one gives the good benefit of the, the machine gun and grenades. Yep. He's setting up to mass produce, mass produce Faraday's. Just one is enough, thank you. Why do people do this? Uh, okay, she's angry. I wanted this place to be a pillar of justice. I'm so peeved I could gnaw my crown. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Only something I only now just noticed. These start to panic when you step on them. <laughs> okay, nice little detail. Oh, hello there. You must be fridge bots. Greetings, I'm Walkdroid. I've been programmed to ferry you along. Here we go. Hi, new robot friend. Nice to meet you. I sure do love my job. Uh, you are so getting thrown into an incinerator at the end of this, aren't you? So are you folks here for business or pleasure? <laughs> no conversation, please. Business, I'm afraid. We kind of have to take down your boss. Golly, that sounds ominous. I'm guessing we have to hurry to catch up with them over this end. Yep. You two sure seem like good friends. Are you dating? <laughs> oh no, I'd rather die. I got face. Whoa, hey, take it easy. Take a CC. <laughs> but we are friends. Well, that just sounds delightful. I'm about to throw myself into the spikes. I've truly enjoyed our time together so far. I've designated you purple friend and something else. <laughs> so, it's so cute. Why is everyone trying to befriend me? We just witnessed pro getting friend zoned. <laughs> and for once, it's not a bad thing. 
I may as well clear the way for walkwards. So he's probably just going to get dropped to his death over here. <laughs> Which, once he finally catches up, that is. <coughs> oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, well, I will say that some of the animation, one of some of the animations, or maybe more some of the designs, are a little bit off. I, I really do love the writing of this game. <laughs> All right, we'll see you yeah. later. I hope we meet again. And he just... <laughs> he just moonwalks back. Bye, walk friend. Okay. Like, I like the artwork for the speech boxes. But they look yeah. very good. Do they have... It is well animated here, but it yeah. kind of do... I feel like the animals don't have the same charm as the speech icon. Yeah, it's a little bit cruder. But then again, this is just a small indie company, so you can excuse some of that. Yeah. And again, this is the only game they made. Yeah, don't tell me we're going to die in this hole now. Okay, that, that is just an annoying part. But yeah, I can see that being a comic of this and... Yeah. It's very charming. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I can, I can see the speech uh, bubbles, uh, well, the icons where you can to speak. Definitely helps. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, I'd say that the I say that the jumping on this is maybe a bit too floaty with how quickly these things are going. <clears throat> there we go. Let's see, failures, how aptly named. Yep. Yep. Ugh, crap, I should have seen this coming. You always have to plunder. You can't just leave shiny things alone, can you? <laughs> I'm not 100% in love with your tone. <laughs> uh, let's see. Have you tried punching? Uh... Maybe if I charge it? Oh yeah, that totally didn't cross my mind. Well, clearly you've tried sarcasm. What do we do? We're sitting ducks in here. I don't know, I do the capturing. I'm not the cap D in capture E. Hey, look behind us. It's that droid from earlier. Save us, robot friend. Get us out of here, you bucket of bolts. Dr. Kanko will be pretty peeved if I do. But I sure do like you guys. Okay, here I go. <laughs> go, robot friend, go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can do it, almost there. Really? <laughs> I have faith in you. He is so oh. going into the assets. Yes. The power of friendship wins again. Uh, wait, is that a button over there? Yep. Yeah. I did it. The button? Nope. Yep. Uh, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> no, my <laughs> crow. <laughs> my friend. It's so hard to find good help these days. Oh, I forgot. That, that's how he looks. Yeah, he looks like from one of the Mario and Luigi games. There is your so-called power of friendship, Apple. I'm going to rip you apart. Whoa, get back here, you nuts. Okay. 
<laughs> Princess May Apple is going nuts. Oh, and she's going to bust Cackle's nuts. Well, I guess you were wrong about him going to the acid. I think he get disturbed by someone else. He... Oh, hello. You broke my boss pedal. <laughs> this is not how heroes behave. Do you see any heroes here, Frog Boy? All I see is a villain and a princess. Crow, help me. She's crazy. Isn't there supposed to be honor among thieves? Don't look at me, pal. I trusted you. I gave you every opportunity to be good. You had no reason to be a villain anymore. You don't want to fix the world. You just want to rule it. My dear, surely we see, you see. We are, uh, we are still aligned in our objective. Double there? I will drop you right now. No, no, listen. We sacrifice our morality to achieve our noble ends. You will do anything for your people. I get that, I do. I merely took it one step further, sped the process along. I tried to create my replacement. You're mass-producing slaves. The utopia we envisioned won't come if we don't have the muscle for it. Not like this. I'm ending adapt code today. You can't. We are two sides of the same coin. We are all of us villains. Villains trying to bring about our visions of utopia. Crow, tell her. Tell her I'm right. I forgot this part, and I don't know the answer. Good advice. Tell May Apple not to drop Dr. Cackle in his lab. If you drop him, he'll have been absolutely right about you. I've known you for years. You're no bad guy. You're nothing like me or Cackle. You're the anti-me. You know when something goes too far. I never had that filter. Good advice from a good friend. We're not friends. I just don't want any more villains competing with me. Princess, we have Cackle. But what about you? What about Crow? We can't just let him whisk you away. My brave, brave officers. I'll be fine. I have a good feeling about this. Everything is going to work out in the end. And you guys know I'd beat the living snot out of you. <laughs> you better take Cackle and call it a win for now. Albeit that was less diplomatically stated, but there is that. <laughs> I'd prefer not to see you injured for my sake. I'll be home real soon. Please just hang in there. Princess. And off we go. Do not pass go. Witness Dr. Cackle being arrested. <laughs> Monopoly joke. Oh dear. Let's see. We have to think my old boss is in jail. He was a creep anyway. New dialogue. Oh. Mm. Compared to the other kingdoms, you humans take your tech very seriously. If you aren't physically strong, you gotta be smart. I totally empathize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because your sister could probably throw you from one end of the planet to the other. So glad to have that chapter of my life behind me. And no one got hurt. Well, that is, only a few people got hurt. Next time, far less people will be hurt. Mayample? Involved in this manner with dishonesty? 
I can barely believe my antenna. I'm glad it all worked out in the end. Goodness. I'll never be able to look at her the same. Uh, Farrah is probably not going to care. Big Mean Green Man is locked up? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Mabel did a good thing. <laughs> of course, she's going to simplify it like that. See, this is what I'm talking about with humans. Creepy experiments, morally gray situations. Nothing morally gray about having an axe in your hand. And a villain in your sights. You put that thing down. <laughs> Okay, then the only thing that should be between us and the good ending is to run through the Doom Howitzer level one more time. So, off we go. And this time, we have a better weapon. Yep. And, you know, one last minor annoyance that I'd say that I'd name with this game is that when you get back here after a level, you start all the way off to the left again. Would have been more accurate or more a, a bit. It's just a tiny thing, but I would have preferred it if you if you leave a level that you still are in the area where you actually started it by entering. Okay. And now that we have done all of the side quests, we should get another option somewhere around here. Let's see. Boss, you made it. You will be happy to know that I rounded up, up our means and gathered all the princesses. I've loaded them up into the Howard, sir. We have just been waiting for you. We've worked so hard. Let's end this. Crew, you're alive. I thought you were a goner. <laughs> you're one tough cookie. Tougher than I thought. Yeah, the dialogue is already different, so we're already on a different path. But I can't believe your secretary got the drop on me. <laughs> Crow beans, amigo. We were all a jitter with worry. I likewise interject a comment of joy, but I have to say, I'm not too big on glass enclosures, so can we do something about that? <laughs> the most intelligent thing she said in the entire game. Crow. Listen. Playing the villain is fun, I know, but we, we've, we've been through so much together. You don't need to rule the world when you have good friends. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to sit down and talk about this kidnapping business. <laughs> but I've come to be quite fond of you, little buddy. Believe me, I rule a very small part of the world, so you don't want this job. <laughs> It's mostly paperwork. Abandon this quest and release us. If <laughs> we can go monster hunting again, and I'll bring my own steed next time. <laughs> the six of us can have a firm discussion with my sister when this is over. There's so much treasure left for us to undercover. <laughs> Rescue me one more time, please. We aren't asking you to be a hero. Just... Be our friend. Ah. Do not listen to them, boss. Do not walk away from everything we have set out to achieve. There are plenty of adventures that end with princesses being rescued. It happens so frequently no one even cares about it anymore. Let your adventure end with what you were made for. You have thwarted the heroes. You have kidnapped the princesses. Be the villain. Activate the device. End it. And so we here we are again. And I'm pretty sure if we pick the first, we'll just go down to the bad ending again, after fighting Mac. But we're here for different reasons. Also, I'm pretty yeah. sure that on a certain level, Becky doesn't want this either, because, well, 
there was that whole thing earlier on during the last time we streamed this game where Crow went on that I don't need anyone thing and such and I'm pretty sure C yeah did not like that so here we go <laughs> jerk with a heart of gold put your friendship for your ambitions <laughs> I cannot take over the world today. I'm just not feeling it. The mm, giant scary face isn't ominous enough. <laughs> Which means we should go on some more adventures to collect scary face parts. I knew I could count on you. Foolish. I've never been an ambitious person. I would have been happy to rule the world as simply your right hand. But I can see I have backed the wrong horse. You? <laughs> You're a secretary. You handle my HR department. And your finances, logistics, all the minutia of running an empire that you barely bother with. Yeah, sure. What are you going to do? Paperwork me to death? Something along those lines. But first, I'm going to do what I do best. Delegate. May Apple? Uh, what? That <laughs> shatters his helmet. Crew! Ah, you'll double cross. It's so... Uh, <laughs> it's so evil. Brilliant. <laughs> I can't even be mad. It is such a classic staple of villainy. Well done, Bex. Thanks, boss. <laughs> Even when getting a stab in the back. <laughs> what did you do that for? Now you can't activate the howitzer. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of paperwork. Legally speaking, do you know the specific requirements to be considered a kingdom? Oh. <laughs> Fancy hats. A minimum population of 1,000 and territory to the tune of 10,000 square feet. <laughs> when I press this button, the paperwork I've filed to have your organization declared a kingdom will be submitted. And who would be the princess then, huh? I have just now successfully deposed you as the ruler of your empire. Your empire, which will now legally be classified as a kingdom that I rule. Which makes me... A princess. <laughs> My corporate kingdom is born. The first order of business is to test the Doom Howitzer out. Considering this my fi- Consider this my five minute notice, boss. <laughs> oh boy, she really- She's really playing this double cross thing straight. Poor Connors. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Since from the bad ending, we know that May Apple could break free. All right. How yeah. do we stop her? <laughs> I can't move. So carrying me might be a good starting point. <laughs> I mean, what do we do about Becky? They're gonna have to throw me in there. I'm not letting that pencil pusher run my empire. Throw you? At the top of the howitzer is the cannon part. Toss me in there. Hmm? I spotted a typo! Hmm? Oh? They broke cannon with one N. <laughs> okay. I overlooked that. I specially built my armor to withstand and absorb massive concussive force. And yet that is why he's immune to his own grenades. With all the concussive force the Doom Howitzer generates, it should cause a feedback loop. Big explosion, very cool. But you'll die. <laughs> Redemption is the leading killer of bad guys. Finales are just an occupational hazard. <laughs> Oh, that's a line. Besides, if I have to choose between that or the internal bleeding, give me the dramatic finish. <laughs> Alright, buddy, let's do this. 
Also, I think he called you indirectly fats, or at least your crystal fats. Yep. Back. I have a bone to pick with you. Hey, Apple. Out of professional courtesy, I advise against trying to stop me. Give me back my evil empire. No. I never believed that violence solved anything. And now I'm put in a difficult situation. My kingdom, my friends need me to step up for them. To put aside my personal beliefs and hopes. Because I've always believed in the inherent good of others. That everyone just needed the opportunity to be virtuous and kind. No matter how many times that outlook has been has let me down. I refuse to give up. I will beat a more gentle demeanor into you. <laughs> how confusingly ten tenacious. <laughs> now the roles are inverted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do we... She even has her own noises for this. Okay. Do we... I think we need to beat these into them, but we need to... We don't have the range... Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Having the time to jump and punch is a bit awkward. Especially with also dodging this. And now it's actually a normal boss fight instead of us being the boss, huh? Yeah, I, I really like this tune. And poof. Yep. <laughs> and Crow just gets dumped on the floor. And he just looks so... <laughs> so fed up with this. <sighs> yeah, th there is a... There is a window between the jump and the punch where you can't punch. Uh. Mm. Yeah, this is... This is annoying. Probably best to just try and hit her from below. I'm still trying to do wider shots. But you did better this time. Yeah. I miss. Yeah, if, if they were flying lower, so I wouldn't need to jump to hit them, that would make things a lot more manageable. There we go. Few more. Oh, oh, come on. Okay, so they can still harm her if they fall around her. Yeah. And then on top. Here's one. It's at least easier to tell when she's going to shoot when she moves there because she's actually stopping. 
before she fires. Actually, here as well. Yeah, that's a, that's a, we have different hearts now. Yeah, it's <laughs> May Apple's <laughs> it's Smiley Hearts. But the other smile too, but they had different horns. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, because this is now an actual boss fight, it's also actually, well, harder. Let's see if I can survive this with at least half health done, or half health still remaining. And the fact that they're flying out of punch reach is what is really annoying here. Because it adds that window between jump and attack. There we go. getting closer and closer yeah but there is a sense of you all getting better i'm surprised it already take you one hour yeah we might not we might not have enough time for a post on after all <laughs> no If we have 15 minutes for it, or like 45, I could say we could still do it, but we have only half an hour. Half an hour for film is not worth it. Let's try this. Uh, what did you change? Mouse and keyboards. This makes it a lot easier to aim the punches. Yeah... But hey. maybe not as much time them still. But... At least it makes it easier to hit them in a direction that I want to. There, phase one with one and a half, but one heart. Okay. Now, with the controller, I need to make quick movements to aim the punch, since it, it aims where I'm walking. So if I'm heading to the right, yeah, I need to re I need to aim to the left to punch it near them up. aim where to strike towards with the other control stick, but this is a lot easier. Okay, I hope there isn't a third phase or anything like that. There is a need to give you health.
Okay, one or two more. There we go. In place of continued banter, I will employ my contingency plan. And, I will, and now I will destroy your kingdom as a test of this weapon's destructive capabilities. After all, we do not need you anymore. Yep. Don't let that pencil neck push you around, sister. I can't get back up there. I can't stop her. We can help you. After we're done throwing up inside of these things. I got lots of energy left, Maple. I can overcharge. Break us out for a moment. They'll just recapture us. My wings are weary, but we can lift you if uh, we combine our strengths. Jump on my axe, take Malachite's hand, and then after the year, can take you the rest of the way. These are our kingdoms. We'll save them. Love for your kingdom. Now there is something I can truly get behind. Alright, we have no time to waste then. We have to do this. Farrah, get us started. Unlimited power. <laughs> Oop. Okay. okay, there is a third. Okay, good. Come on! Help! Yeah, the, the, the thing is, if I'm trying to aim with the other control stick, I can't push the punch button without reaching, my, without bending my hand uncomfortably. So back to this. Unless there is something else that works as an attack button. Uh, oh. Okay, right shoulder. Okay. At least the attacks are a lot more telegraphed. So where are all of these Reapers coming from? And what did they name these Reapers? Okay, yeah, this is actually easier. Okay, I deserve that one. Oh, come on, it puts me back here. Okay, oh, that, 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 now that's just unfair. Yeah, that is unfair. Then again, this game is partially no mods to the old games and such, and yeah, they they had many stage boss fights with zero checkpoints in between, so in a way, that makes sense. In the other way, there's a reason we stop with that bullshit. Yeah, especially those with a secret entrance behind to get to the true boss fight and all, like in... There we go, not no, even not the one Something... Itori Warrior! Which I have played. We never got through the first level. So there is a new about in these things to Angry Video Game Nerd. Okay, come on. The issue is here is it's way too hard to avoid her attacks. Yeah, it's annoying to have to jump and try to avoid her attacks. Because when we jump, we're vulnerable. Yeah. Because it slows us down. Okay. Yeah, at least some health between stages would have been nice. Okay. Yeah, or at least let us restore around the cutscene with full health. There we go. 
Yep, and we're skipping all of that. Okay. It, <laughs> the, the bug princess just flying into <laughs> the atmosphere. We can still control her after that. Okay. Would be good if we had to give her, her attacks for a better telegraph. Yeah, they, they are telegraphed with that light show that shows where they will attack to, but we don't have too much time to react to that. Yeah. That's what I mean, like, it's a bit too quick. There we Unless go, only one hit. True at old school gaming. Okay, when she stops to take fire, that is when we jump and attack. to be careful with the longer sideways shots because that we have less chance of dodging that there we go okay i see what happened now the floor got electrified so that is why may apple jumped off Quick enough, we can still attack the beans. We're dodged away from the beans. Now, sorry, it doesn't make sense for these to still have gravity affecting them. Side of the game with air. Yeah, it doesn't make sense for these to still be affected by gravity here. We have to explain that at some point. A no boss fight. Yeah, we're, we're in lower atmosphere here at least. There we go. Now's your chance. Slam dunk. Wait, wait, I changed my mind! <laughs> Too late, motherfucker! <laughs> True friends, get the good ending. The Doom Howitzer was destroyed! Heroes always turn up in the unlikeliest places. Crow's already spinning like a dynamo in his grave. The princess who saw her world crumbling apart became her own hero and saved the four kingdoms <laughs> by sacrificing Crow. <laughs> Tsukochi Empire at long last freed from the rule of a tyrant. Winter down, some things never change. <laughs> Uh, and he decided to use multiple weapons. Insectia, back in business. And that collapse, friends restored. Aww. <laughs> and I, I guess I was wrong with my count, that there were three. The Heartless Abyss, new adventures on the horizon. 
<laughs> Bramble Plats, <laughs> old friends stick together, and he finally got some bloody legs. <laughs> the Villa Museum next new exhibits. <laughs> did, he, did he mangle their swords? <sighs> Macro City, where it all began. And is someone still getting friend zones? <laughs> Hope he's still out there somewhere. He may be a villain. But he came through for his friends in the end. <laughs> yep, someone still friend zoned. I wish to apologize for my previous actions. Oh, it's fine, Mac. What about us, huh? Do you want to give Mac Apple a little try? <laughs> oh, Mac, sweetie. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Not a chance. But it's very sweet of you to offer. Ah, oh, bolts. <laughs> and that was the good ending for Nefarious. Okay, I honestly thought that would take like half an hour or something. Yeah, and we already seen this. I don't know. Yeah, we can't see this out. But I don't know if there's anything else after this. Uh, but... We'll see. And okay. oops, Tyrant Backers, Doctor Meccano, Scholar Ben, Cap. Oh, so those were <laughs> those were backers, backer characters as well, huh? Okay. Hmm. Magnificent Long Minion time. Backers, Megalomaniac Backers, and all the other backers. <laughs> How is it? We, we could still do a Pantheon, but it will be a short one. Hmm. I think we should leave it for a full two hours. Thanks again, none of this would have been possible without your generosity. I hope you enjoyed the game. This game is not perfect, but then again, hardly anything ever is. And yeah, for all it's worth, this was still a lot of fun. <laughs> and maybe one day there will be the Nefarious 2. For now though, oh. for now we have Becky who is stuck all alone. Or maybe not so alone? Things got a little out of hand, did I not, boss? Only a little. I cannot believe the plan fell apart like that. <laughs> Losing gracefully is part of the complete villain package. I guess it is. Also, I just love it when games actually have yeah, their characters blink. Though, uh, Crow isn't, so his eyes might start to hurt if he doesn't look away from the bloody sun. <laughs> He's looking at Becky, yeah. So... Are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. <laughs> I'm docking your pay, but we're cool. <laughs> ah, bolts. We'll come back with a better plan. One that even friendship can't foil. <laughs> but in the meantime, I could use a vacation. <laughs> um, I've forgotten this part. Some things change, some things always stay the same. <laughs> but yeah, I. If they ever make a Nefarious 2, I would buy it, full stop. But for now, yeah, this has been Nefarious, and there is still the webcomic. So, for the moment, we head on out over here, and we go look for someone to raid. It is early, but I'd want to give Apotheon the full time. It's not like it's a... It's a short-ish game, but not like two hours short. Yeah, I, I can't agree with you. It does feel weird. Like, it's only... Like, we have 40 minutes remaining. It feels so weird to only stream, like, one and a... One hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> as weird as a princess saving the day by throwing the villain into his own cannon. 
Not really. I feel like we've seen that uh, similar thing before. Except uh, not many times the villain has been the friends in this matter. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we've seen some warrior prisoners throwing a villain into something. <laughs> okay, for now though, let's go over to Twitch and look for any people to raid. We have DJ Kiske, who is uh, having his... Uh, Oh Hi FM show again. It has been a long ass time since he did that last time. It's basically where he runs a sort of uh, radio for a bit. Uh, more like he's running a talk show ish with guests and such, uh, other VTubers and such. Um, oh, then we have Pika, who is doing, who is playing Lethal Company. Reef the Leaf is just chatting for their charity stream. Codenamed Verit is playing Boat Crew. Uh, I, I saw this pop up in my uh, discovery queue on Steam, and for at first I thought it was another game by the people who made Bomber Crew and such, but no, it's not from them. And honestly, it looks like a cheap knockoff, if you ask me. Uh, I'm Nice is playing Monster Hunter Stories 2, I'm guessing. Let's see. Two year affiliate anniversary. <laughs> Okay, so it's today is the yeah today marks two years that of them being an affiliates. Actually, Next it must be. Hmm? I, heard, I heard today from a friend that apparently they recently announced a new Monster Hunter game. Yep, Monster Hunter Wilds. Oh dear. And from what little I've seen of it, it looks to be more in a deserty, arid-ish area. So that could be interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was it was only a few screens I saw, but it looked a bit Australian to me. Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, uh, we have Nico Silverado, who is also streaming Little Company. Lazarus is streaming Freedom Planet, but we raided them last time. Corridors with Little Company. Isai Rosier with Subnautica. Smoops Other Nonsense is online with Stellaris. Halloween is playing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, which is actually... Uh, let's see, that. let me actually double check the games for tomorrow, which showcase Sunday. Uh, yeah, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is in the lineup to show up tomorrow. So that'll oh de definitely be something to look forward to. Uh, Karen I is having a birthday stream, uh, still with crowd control 40k. Actually, since they should be out of... They, they're definitely out of their pre-stream by two... Uh, four hours. Okay. Uh, yeah, be right yeah, back. Of course, they're BRP. <laughs> <laughs> it's timing. Uh, anyways, next up, we have WBPL streaming Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Touch Scaly Tail, last but not least, is playing Born of Bread. The heck is that? Let me take a peek. Hey, don't tell me. All right. Oh, so oh it's they think not I recognize this. Do I am bread? No, I think I saw this. I think I had this pop up in my Steam queue as well, but I quickly passed, uh, pressed next on it, I believe. Hmm. But yeah, uh, who would you suggest to raid? I'm thinking uh, we should give Kiske a, a visit. Wait, should we really raid a radio show? <laughs> Uh, it's not really like an uh, uh, actual radio show, but just more a chat show with others and such. Yeah, but... Mm, I don't know. Should you read... Should you read read it? I don't know. Something feels weird and reading does. I don't know. Something tells me it's rude. Hmm. Maybe not that rude, but... Yeah, let's just go give them a visit and see what they are up to. <laughs> okay, uh, it, it is more than just chatting and such from what I remember. It has been a long time since he last did that, but it is more than just chatting. Okay, slash raid and paste. And yeah, uh, let me double check for any lurkers. I've forgotten that a few times. Hello there, Sensei. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs> And let's see. Yeah, Actually, tomorrow... Go ahead. Uh, I just had an idea. Since there's no LA Noir the, tomorrow evening... Yeah? Could we do a profile instead, then? 
Yeah, we could, yeah. Uh, I was thinking we could fill it in a, a bit with uh, some more relaxed streams like Jurassic World Evolution, Planet Zoo and such, but we can do a Potheon then as well, since, well, we're ending this short. Yeah. <laughs> it would okay. feel a bit fair for that game. <laughs> All right, then. But for now... Uh, yeah, tomorrow, Showcase Sunday, trying out four games for about half an hour each. And then in the evening, we'll get started on a Potheon. <laughs> mm. And yeah. Uh, then in the next week, Tuesday and Thursday, we will have more Sonic Adventure, of course. <laughs> Yay! Nervousness. But, <laughs> but for now, let's get that raid started. And yeah. Thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you as always, Bakir, because I forgot to do the typical thank yous today. Oh, uh, you're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. Yeah, and until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. And may when she gets pissed, she will dunk your ass in acid. <laughs>